Will he get traded or will he not get traded? That is the biggest question right now surrounding the New York Giants this offseason. What's up, y'all? It's NYG Jeffy T throwing it down with another video for all y'all. And today's topic we're going to be talking about is the whole James Bradbury situation. Right now, James Bradbury has got a pretty big cap hit on his, uh, on his deal. And the Giants are trying to unload as much salary as they can in order to try to be able to dra uh, sign up their draft class. And the question right now remaining, and it's a big one, are the Giants going to trade James Bradbury this offseason or around the draft? Or are they also maybe thinking about keeping him on the roster this year and possibly even giving him an extension? In terms of James Bradbury, he has been one of the better corners the past few years in the NFL. Not quite a shutdown corner, but he's a guy that when you want to put him on an island against your top receiver, he normally will get the job done. And the true question is right now, do the Giants feel that they can ill afford to just give James Bradbury away for say a fourth or a fifth round pick? or? Would they rather try to hold out until closer to the draft time or possibly even at the draft and maybe deal them away for a second or third round pick for a team that might not have been able to get their top player in terms of a cornerback in the draft and maybe were willing to give away some 2023 compensation for still a pretty good cornerback in this league who is only 28 years old? Or is Joe Shane's thinking right now, I still got a guy who maybe wasn't as good last year as he was the previous years, but is still only 28 years old, can still play to a pretty high level in this league. Do I try to take his contract and extend it through the next couple of years, say one or two years into 2023 and 2024, spread that salary out, lower his cap hit, and still keep a pretty good player on this roster and see how he works in Wings defense? I, right now, I couldn't even tell you on the table what the Giants are thinking. I think they are trying very hard to trade James Bradbury, but right now there's just not any deals on the table that they're willing to pull the trigger on. KC's been rumored a lot, and they're still talking with the Giants about the potential trade for James Bradbury, but at the same time, they still haven't pulled the trigger yet because I think Joe Shane is pretty much doing his best to try to squeeze at least possibly a second round pick out of the Chiefs to deal their top cornerback. Now, there has been a lot of rumors that the Giants have been smooching a lot with Sauce Gardner, and he's been a player that they have had their eye on for Wink's system as being their future top corner in this team. Now, the obvious scenario is if they can find a way to get a second or possibly a third round pick, for James Bradbury that you trade him just before or around the draft time and you can still find a way to replace him by drafting a Sauce Gardner or a Derek Stingley as your number one cornerback and pair them with a Dory Jackson, Aaron Robinson, Rodarius Williams, Darnay Holmes and the rest of the cornerbacks on that team. Or is the thinking that, like I mentioned before, is Joe Shane just saying, you know what? This guy is in his prime, still a good cornerback in this league. I'm going to hold on to him and try to spread his cap out the next couple of years and keep a pretty good player on this roster without just giving him away. The closer we get to the draft, the closer some teams might be willing to bite to give up more compensation for a player of James Bradbury's caliber. In my personal opinion, I'm starting to think maybe the best thing to do is to keep James Bradbury on this roster because of the fact that he's still a pretty good player on this team. And I don't know if any team is willing to give up what uh, the Giants are looking for. So at this point, maybe it might be best to just keep him on the roster for another year, maybe extend him for another year, lower his cap hit. And if he doesn't uh, have a good season, you can just cut him in the offseason for a lower cap. So in terms of the whole situation, I think it will get resolved within the next few weeks, closer to get to the draft. Do I think the percentage of James Bradbury being on the roster? 
I would probably say it's closer to about a 60-40 Bradbury gets traded, but as the days go by, it's getting more and more likely that James Bradbury might remain on the Giants roster for 2022 season. So just let me know what you guys think. Put your comments in the comment section. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And let me know what you guys think of the, the video. Have a great day. NYG 28, NYG Jeffy T 3285. Out. Have a good day, y'all.